Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez from creatingwithali.com and I'm going to be sharing with you three cards using the Harvest Hellos and the Beautiful Autumn. Um, just give me one second here. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope, okay, so, so thank you, thank you for joining me again. It's going to be using these two and I kind of went crazy. I started thinking of, I wanted to work with this one. I've not used it since last year and I thought it would be great to be making one and then I started incorporating this one. I love the sentiments. And then I even remember we have the country home as well. And I love the sentiment. So I might be using the sentiment from this one. Although I'm not so sure. Maybe I'll use that one. Because I think those two look amazing. So anyway. So let me know where you are watching me from. And uh, if someone can help me sharing. Because I left my little one with my other cell phone. So I cannot share to my group. So if someone can help me sharing into my group. I would really appreciate it. So anyway. So let's get it started real quick. Um... So a few things here, I, I'm going to be using this. Um, so let me just tell you everything that is on this one. So I'm using the um, Play Tidings, which is this design series paper. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, there. hello, Lainey, how are you? Oh, hi, Larry. Glad having you here. Oh, yeah. The Pam, yeah, absolutely. The country home is one of my favorites. I think I love the sentiments from that one. Nancy, hi. So thank you, thank you for um, joining me today. Thank you, thank you. Hola, gordita. So anyway, so like I said, so the plate tidings is um, is uh, this one that is six by six. And as you can see, what I love about that one, it, the, about this design series paper, is, is that all the colors can go for so many occasions. Like, you could think of this one for, like, Valentine's as well, or just a birthday or something. You can see this one really nice. Then you have, like, Christmases. So, I think they're, all the color is really great. You can have Halloween. I think that this is, um, yeah, I show the cards previously about Halloween using this same set and I just think that you can make so many cards with this pack so definitely it's becoming one of my favorites from that perspective just because you have plenty of options and today for all my cards I actually just use one sheet of um, this design as you can see here I love the colors and I pair it with um, um, the Regal 6x6 Design Series paper, and I use this one, and you're gonna see that I use also one sheet for that one. Now, if you don't have that one, you can use the cardstock. This one will be the Crush Curry, but I thought that using a Design Series paper will be great. And again, you're gonna see that I use only the one sheet for all my cards. So definitely, you get a lot of um, cards out of a, a pack for sure. Um, the other thing is that this, little guy came from the uh, i think came from the for, what is the name forever gold specialty design series paper and i got this one when i was designing the forever fern car class and i don't think i ever use it and so i was like okay we need to start doing or using it more but you can see here how it looks. I love that everything is already cut. So you just take them out and then use them to your car. So it makes it very simple and very easy to use. You can see here one um, more complete and they all have this um, like lining, if you will, so that it stays really nice and shiny. And so definitely uh, a great, great, great one to have. Let me just put this one back. Um, it also has another design here. Yeah, there you go. You can see here you can use this one for like car bases. So definitely there's lots of options for this one. And oh, you can see here, I already pulled another one here. So anyway, but you can use them so much and um, I totally forgot about it. So definitely want to showcase it tonight because um, I thought that the little leaves will go really great for the awesome feel that I want to put on my cars tonight. So let's get started with this one. I have here, um, what is this color? pumpkin pie and i'm gonna take here the early espresso hi Teresa, how are you and i'm gonna put here these aside i'm gonna bring um like i said i'm gonna be doing a pumpkin out of this one i feel like i i just i love this set and then i never use it i don't know why right but i love that i can do little embellishments with this one over and over <clears throat> so 
The next thing is um, this one has a matching uh, punch. So we're gonna be uh, cutting this out. And I wanna be doing the top with this one. So before I do anything, I wanna do the top before I forget. And I'm gonna be putting this one in an area that I can see it. My table is brown, and so a lot of times I lose everything that is brown. Now I have also the pumpkin pie uh, blends. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the um, darker and just do the outlines on this one. Hi, March. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And again, if someone can help me um, sharing it to my group, I would really appreciate it. My son was FaceTiming with my mom and I totally forgot the other cell phone, so I could not do the sharing and I definitely want to make sure the Creating with Ali group gets also the video. So if you can help me, I would really appreciate it. So anyway, so here we go. And you can see I'm just doing the outlining, so nothing fancy. And um, yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to bring the lighter one. And I'm just going to color There we go. So very simple, very easy. And I might go back a little bit more with this one. I try not to touch too much that um, early espresso because it's not memento, but um, you know what I'm saying. So it's not um, it's not like the stay somewhere you're gonna pull. So you can use them, but just don't don't oversaturate too much of the color there because sometimes it kind of looks weird. A little bit of blending. I'm gonna do it with this one. And there we go. All right. So once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and punch it out. Let me just put it like so. There we go. I'm gonna leave this for another one. All right, and once I have that, then I'm gonna bring the um, this color, self suede, and uh, crushed curry. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, I already have it here. So let's just do that one. So I'm gonna take first the self suede. Is that what I'm gonna do? Yes. And let me bring the oh, what I do with my pierce mat? Oh, here. I'm like, where is the pierce mat? And so here's where I'm going to be taking the uh, leaves from the beautiful autumn. So I'm going to take that one. I need a scratch paper here. So I'm going to take, I just need a scratch paper first. And I go ahead and take this one. And I'm going to clean this one out. And I'm going to be doing the same on the crushed curry. And I am stamping off because I don't want it to... Actually, in this one, I'm not stamping off, but in this one, I am. Oh, I didn't ink it well. There we go. And then I'm going to take the soft suede. And I'm going to line it up if I can. I don't think I can see well with the camera on my face. There we go. So not too bad for me not being able to see that well. <laughs> and we're going to be punching them out. So the beautiful autumn set has the matching punches. And so we're going to be taking this one. Hello, Janine. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, and I can uh, mess it up a little bit on this one. I might want to do this one again, honestly. I know, sometimes I get to... Let me just do another one, because I don't... You know, it is fine, but I don't know what it is. Let's just do one more. And... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do first the, the other one. 
hopefully I can see better with the camera when I do it the other way. And on this one, like I said, I'm not stamping off. Oh yeah, this one I can see better. There we go. And I'm gonna line it up better. There we go. Much, much better. Definitely. Okay. So now I'm gonna take um I'm gonna take a glue dot. I'm gonna take this one out or the glue dots. And we're gonna be embellishing this one. So I'm gonna be putting a little glue dot on this section. And we're gonna be putting it like so. And then I'm going to be adding this one here and then this one there. Kind of like that. Do I want it that way or do I want it this way? Yeah, I want this one on the, on the back. So I'm going to add another glue dot here. And we're going to be adding this one here. And then this one here. There you go. So I have those two together. <clears throat> and then I'm going to start putting it together with this one. I want to put the sentiment on this. Um, and I definitely love the country home sentiment. The ones that says simply thankful for all the good things. I think that that one goes really well for uh, the season. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one with early espresso. And again, whenever I use photopolymer... I try to use my piercement underneath. So I'm gonna be putting this one right on the center. Yeah, let's see. And I like cut the, um, this label is from the, oh, I think I'm a little bit off, but I mean, cricket, but that's okay, it looks nice. This one is from the Celebration dies. So yeah, Celebration Label dies. And so I use the second from the smallest to the largest, the second one of those. And these have become one of my favorites. I've been using them more and more. I just love how, how they look. And so we're gonna start seeing here. Now for, let's just go over measurements on this one because I didn't talk about those. So I have all my embellishments right now. And so we have here Early Express as my car base, and this one is eight and a half by five and a half. Let me turn on the lights here. Much better, right? I believe. Um, so this one is eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna fold it in half. Once you have that, we have a piece of Whisper White that I have already pre-embossed with the uh, Tasteful Texture uh, Folder, which it's another one of my favorites. I love that this one goes with any occasions. Okay, so this one is three and three quarters by five and five eighths. Now it's a little bit larger because I'm gonna be cutting it out because I want to make sure that I cover everything and then I'm gonna be cut it, cutting out that um, that excess. Yeah, Teresa, I just love that, um, that um, dice a lot. I just feel like it goes really well. And you can do so many things with that one, so definitely. It's becoming one of my favorites for sure. What is the deal with this one? I just changed these. Oh my god. There you go. I don't know. I've been having some issues with this particular refill. Um, since I changed it. I don't know what the deal was. I think I had a odd one, but okay. That's fine. So anyway, we're gonna be putting it right on. And this is where I need something here to guide me because again, the table is brown and it doesn't let me see really well when I am using brown. <laughs> so there we go, right? And like I said, this one was longer because if I go Cricut, I can still cover the whole thing. So whenever I'm gonna be covering the whole car base, I like to go this route because that way I make sure everything is covered. I don't really like seeing those hairs, if you will, like when you go a little bit off. And then I also have a piece of that design series paper. And this one is 
uh, one and a half. And I didn't cut this one, so this is six, but of course we're gonna cut the excess on that one. And then I have here a piece of gold foil, and this one is a half of an inch. And you can see it's also six, because that, that's really the scrap that I have, so. Anyway, so we're gonna be putting it like so. I'm gonna be adding adhesive on this section. And then we're gonna be adding it right here. I just want to have a little bit of that showing up. So I'm gonna be putting this one now. I'm not gonna be covering the whole thing. I could, but I wanted to have a little bit of that brown going out because there is some of that color going on in this one. So, um, so we're gonna go ahead and, and cover this one. Hi, Joanne. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put it somewhere here. And again, I'm just trying to make sure I cover everything and then have it here. And then we're gonna be cutting that part. All right, so this is how it looks. Then we're gonna have, and again, I always like to put things, um, First, see, and I think I should have moved this one up a little bit, don't you think? Hmm. I might want to cut another one. Although, who knows? It does look nice. I'm just going to leave it as is. But I think I would have liked it if I had it here and then the words more towards the top. So, let's just, you know what? I'm just going to do it. Like, let's just go ahead and do that. So, give me one second because I definitely think, like, it will look even nicer. So, let me cut another piece of that and again i'm using the what did i say the wriggles hmm, if i can find the yellow pattern there you go i love that one so give me one second here i'm gonna bring the cutting machine because i want to give it another try and put it more towards the top and at the end of it i can use that other piece for another car but um and then be happy with this one <laughs> so we're gonna be adding this one right here i'm gonna put it here so you can see it okay there we go So let's just repeat this one. And again, we're gonna try to put it, let me just think, more towards the top. So let's just bring again the, just because I have that already in my mind. And we're gonna be putting it more towards the top. <laughs> well, I'm glad you make it, Joan. Thanks so much. There we go. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm going to be using this one for another one. So I'm not going to toast it, but I'm going to leave it aside. All right. So, and that's the beauty of this. I mean, if I don't like something, I just do it again, right? So see, I feel like this one is going to look nicer if I have it. Yes. See that? I love it. Because I want to put a bow, and I think there's enough space where the other one was way too low. And I can accommodate that one. So I think that this one looks much, much nicer. Now, as far as the bow, so let me just start putting everything here. So for this one, uh, let me see. Do I want it popped up? I want this one popped up. So I will put this one plain. Um, so flat, I should say, not plain, but just flat. Oh, we're going to be adding this one right here. And then we're going to be adding some glue dots on this one so that it goes right here. Oh, I love how it looks. 
definitely happy with the change and I just make sure I'm putting it in a way that it kind of hides them right and the same with this one yep so I'm gonna be adding them like so there we go and then I'm going to be putting this one like right here, like right there. Okay. Now, do I want another of these? Do I want one? That might not look bad if I had another one, like maybe in the browns. But anyway, we'll play with it. And then for the bow, um, so here's what I'm doing. I'm going to undo this one. But um, I have here the... Uh, metallic edge ribbon in the gold and what I did is I use and I'm going to cut this one and do another one because I'm going to be using this bow so much for tonight so so what I did is I'm going to be taking my um this is the rich raspberry and it is the dark and we're going to go ahead and color it you can see here and I'm doing it in a way where I am going this way, not so much to the point, but just more um, on a side, as you can see. That way you cover faster and you do not damage the fibers on your, on your marker. You can see this, right? And you just give yourself enough. And I know I'm going to be using it more of this one. So I'm just going to take a little bit more. Because I know I'm going to be using it for all my cards. But you can see how quickly I can get my ribbon in any color. Now I do have to put. I do put a piece of paper. Because as you can see. It starts getting a little bit of that color into the paper. So if you don't want to um, color your table. Just put something underneath. Like the scrap paper. And you will be good to go and actually you see I have one that I was playing with in the oh I actually I actually think I like that one too I have one in the wrist wrestle berry I don't know if I like that one hmm I can probably just put this one I feel like it goes like it loses you know like you don't really see this one so I'm not going to be using it like when I was designing this card class, you can see here, I was playing with the greens and the rich wrestle berries, but I think I'm going to live with that one. I think it looks nice with that color. Um, so anyway, so once you have that, then we're going to be making our bow. Now you, um, you just do your bow as regularly and you have a nice bow in any color you want. See, so look at that. Then I'm going to be putting this one right here and it matches perfectly. So um, let's just cut here and here. And I'm going to be adding it like so. Now this one is to go that way. And see how it looks? I like it better. Now I feel like it is too long, so I'm going to cut a little bit. Um, I didn't like to be that large. Yeah, much better. Let me cut a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Yeah, much better. I like it better that way. And then let me see if I have the... I could use... I usually put gems. That's the one thing I think that I love to be putting. Oh, here we go. And I've been using a lot of that gilded. Now, the gilded would look really nice, don't you think? Or also... Actually, I think this one will look, this looks like golder. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see which one we'll like the most. Yeah, like this one looks nice. Let me just see this one. Hi, Miriam. So I usually just play around with all of them. Hi, Janet. How are you? Well, I mean, they look, they both look nice. I might go with the gilded um, gems. I, I feel like lately that's the only one that I'm using. I don't know why. Um, let me bring some dimensionals somewhere here. I know I have the dimensionals. So I have here those. 
All right, let's just bring a new, a new pack. I'm sure that by the end of the video, I'm gonna be finding the ones that I was using. It always happens, always. So we're gonna go ahead and put one there. And yeah, I know I'm putting way too many, but it will look really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and add them. And we're gonna be adding this one. There we go. And then I'm gonna be adding this one right here with a glue dot. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, it looks really nice. And then I'm gonna be adding a few of these gems. Let me just move this one out. Where is the, here we go. Like I would probably put one here. One there, cause it's bugging me that there's too much space here. So let's just add one there. And I'll add another of these little ones somewhere like here. And there we have it. See that? Yes, definitely like those a lot. So here you have it. Super easy and very nice. And again, um. I, I just love that, how this one pop up the whole thing. Don't you think? Like the pumpkin. Um, so anyway, so let's go to card number two. And on all of them, I'm going to be doing the same pumpkin. So let's just do another of those. Because um, that was how I started designing this class. Like I wanted to have a pumpkin and then it just got to the whole thing that way. So if you didn't see how I created that pumpkin, there we go again. We're gonna put it right here. And again, I'm using the uh, Harvest Hellos. Well, this one kind of dries. So I'm gonna bring again the, um, these ones. And for this one, I do need the, and this time I'm gonna do first the self suede part because I feel like I could see better. I'm just gonna do like two right now. That way I have several if I want to add more. Because I own the other one, I felt like I wanted more. I'm just going to put them here too. Oh, I think that one is too close to that one. So I'm just going to, what am I doing here? I think I'm putting them all too close. Anyway, hopefully I can get two out of there. <laughs> all right, so. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring the little one using the crushed curry. And when I'm using the crushed curry, it's full color. And when I'm doing the, um, oh yeah, much better to see, definitely. And then when I'm doing the soft suede, I'm actually um, stamping off one time. All right. Thank you, Janet, glad you like it. Uh, all right, let me just clean this one and then go into the self suede. And where is my piece of paper? Here. So I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, my goodness. This one is still hard for me to see. Put the camera, okay, we did good. Stamp off ones. Oh gosh, yeah, with the camera. I'm gonna move it a little bit so I can see better. Yeah. It helped having um, the outline first, but it's still, with the phone in my face, it's a little bit harder. <laughs> But we'll, we'll manage well. That was good. Anyway, so we're going to start punching things out. And I'm just lining it up. There we go. I know. The full cars are my favorite. Um, I love the colors. 
Um, so yeah, I love the the film. I love the fall colors for sure. And I love that we have so many options this year. I don't I don't know. I felt like I had way too many options. Don't you think? And then we're gonna be doing the same thing with this one. All right, that way we have them ready for even the next card. Although I think, I, I think I'm, anyway, we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna be needing that many, but oh well, we have them. We have them ready now. All right, so now, same as with the other ones, we're gonna go ahead and bring the um, pumpkin pie. I'm just doing the outline on this one. And, yep. And then I'm gonna bring the uh, light color. And I feel like this is a very easy way to color them. Although I could also leave them um, as they wear, right? Because it is on pumpkin pie, but um, yeah, I wanted to add a little bit of shadows, you know? There we go. There we go. And then, where is the... Mm, gosh, what did I do with the other... Um, the early express. I mean, I oh, here. I'm like, I had it here. Like, I know I had it here because we just did one a few minutes ago, right? All right, so I need that one. And then we're going to be doing this one, too. I just like that it looks really, like, rich on color, don't you think? There we go. All righty. So we have that. We're going to start adding the glue dots as well. All right, and then again, one of each. We're gonna be adding one her, and then one on top. And I'm just using one glue dot on these ones. There we go. So now for this card, I have this, okay? And like I said, I'm trying to make all my cards with just the um, one of these sheets of paper. And so for this one, again, using the same cutouts from the Forever, what was that? Forever Gold, Forever, yeah, Forever Gold Specialty Design Series paper. Um, I have this, um, this foliage, which I love it. And um, I have on this one, see, my car base is, uh, what is this? Early Espresso, eight and a half by five and a half, a piece of the, um, Crush curry. And this one is three and three quarters by five. And I have a piece of the design series paper. And this one was um, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. And what I did on this one, because I wanted to make another car out of that, is that I took one of the um, rectangles of stitch framelits. I believe it's this one. Yep. And I cut it out. That way I have that piece for another card while I have this one for this one, right? So I felt like that was genius <laughs> to maximize my paper because I knew I wanted to put this section here, right? Um, and so I thought, okay, let's just use that section for my next card, which you're gonna see in a second. So now this part, when I had that, um, this window, I just literally just measure one eighth of out of each side and so like in this case it ended up being um two and seven eighths by four and one quarter and it covers the whole thing and then i have here a piece of whisper white and this one is two by three quarters by four and one eighth and so this one will go right here. Now I wanted to add a little bit of that design series paper and just to go with the same 
flow and this one is three by one which of course we're gonna be we're gonna be uh cutting it out but um but like I said in the past, I love having it longer. That way I know I make sure that even though I go a little bit crooked, I can still, it still covers the whole thing. And so I want to add on this one, the same sentiment. So I wanted to put this one here. But before I do that, I, let's just see how the whole thing is going to look. Um, I feel like that one will look nice. Just so that I know where I want to position my, and see, maybe I want this one. Maybe I want this one this way. No, I do want it this way. I want it this way. And then, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want that one. So I want the sentiment towards the top. Maybe I'll work with this one the other way. There we go. Yep, toward this section. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna be adding the bow on this section, but I also want to put another section just to cover like a second strip of paper, if you will, but with ribbon. So that's how it's going to be looking. Now, the other thing that I think I want to be adding is I probably want to embossed this section as well with the same folder, just so that it has kind of like the same feel. I love making my cards where it looks like a set. I don't know. It wasn't intended that way at the beginning, but now the more I do this Facebook lives, I feel like that's really what I tend to be doing, like sets of cards. And so definitely I want to have like the same kind of look using the same products. All right. So now we're going to be adding this one towards this section. I not dress. I love saving paper. There we go. Really nice. I'm going to start gluing everything. I'm just going to wait for a little bit for that one. My um, early espresso, you see, it's a little bit rich, which I love. But uh, sometimes I need to let it dry. Um, it is super juicy. So nothing bad about it. But yeah, I need to let it dry for some time. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and fold this one in half as usual. Use your bone folder. Oh, and my lighting is dying right now, so... You're gonna see some shadowings. All right, so we have this one. And let's just put this one first, because I know this one will have to go right here. And so here's where the challenge comes. Well, I could actually use glue dots. No, let's just, let's just use our regular. We're just gonna be careful, because you could potentially rip the paper so when you do something like that just be careful as you add adhesive just so that you don't rip the paper see what I mean like just be careful when you are adding um, your adhesive So you just got to be a little more careful with um, when you're using like these size. And I'm just lining it up here. There we go. There we go. All good. All right. And then I can glue this one down. Now, um, like I said, you could also use your glue dots on that section, but it wasn't too bad, right? You saw it wasn't that bad of a deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now for this one, I think now is, right? Let's just, I think I'm gonna give it a try with the embossing folder. I think that it will look nice, so. <clears throat> let's just. I'm going to bring it again. Oh. I need, um, just give me one second here. I know you don't, you cannot really see this, but for, for when you're embossing with a 3D, you just need the platform, the embossing folder, and the grade path, which I think is number 
four, yeah. So. All right. All right, so let's just take that one out of the picture here. All right, and this one, oh yeah, definitely. See how nice it looks? Really cool, don't you think? So I'm glad I did go with that. <laughs> Because I like how it looks. I mean, it still has a really nice print, but it has the embossing folder. Yeah, definitely. That was a good call for sure. So anyway, so now we're going to be adding the um, this paper first. And again, we're going to start seeing how we want to line up these things again. Yeah, okay. So this could be there. All right, so yeah, it looks good on this section. So let's just add adhesive. And I'm lining it up there. All right, then I can take out that little section that we talk about. There we go. All right, and then for this one, like I mentioned, I want to have like this, right? I want to have that one. So, um, yes, definitely that one, because then I'm going to be adding the bow. So I'm going to cut this one and glue it down with the glue dots. Where's my glue dots? Here. I want one in each end and then one in the middle. There we go. And now I can glue this one there. Now, but let me just think about this. Do I want this whole thing raised? I think it will be nice if I have the whole thing raised. Yeah, I love this one there and then raise the whole thing. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna be adding this one here. And you, let me see here. See, the only inconvenience is that sometimes you get these little There we go, much better. There we go. <laughs> Marsh, she cracked me up every single time. All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this whole thing with the um, dimensionals, which you saw me got a whole sheet, a new sheet, and. Okay, here it is. It's like, and I managed to lose it again every single time. So it's like, and you saw me taking it just like just now. So it was here. I don't know. I always lose everything when I am crafting. It's not even funny. But that happens every single time. Put one here and one there. Um, I'm going to put two more. I don't know. I'm getting to, there's way too many. I know. But I feel like when you put it, it balances out really well, the whole card, you know? Sometimes when you don't put that many, it kind of goes down in some areas. So, definitely, definitely, yeah, something to think about. Alrighty, so. All right, so now that I have that, then we're gonna go ahead and add glue those. Now for this one, let's just start thinking about it. How did we set we want them? So I want them like that. So I'm gonna put like glue those in this section and then have this one here. Actually, maybe, ooh, maybe, let me think about that. Maybe I want it even better. Let's see, maybe I'll go. No, I don't like it that way. I definitely like it better this way. Ooh. 
And you have to be careful because it's kind of delicate, so. I'm going to go that way. Have this one here. But it covers that one, so I wanted to do it the other way then. I need to make it work. If, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to cut this. Because if I'm going to be covering it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's covered, I don't like it. So I'm going to cut it out. How about that? How about that? Like, if it doesn't work, and then I can use this on another project. And this one, for sure, shows really nice. There we go. I'll probably put it a little bit in an angle. Yep. And then have this bow right here. Or here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Okay. Love it now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add some glue dots here. So I'm going to be adding glue dot here. And then a glue dot right on this section. Now, this one is a little bit harder to hide. So I'm just going to be putting it. Right here where I don't cover that letter. There you go. And then I'm going to be adding this one kind of in an angle. Yeah, like that. And this one will go on dimensionals. Like so. And we're going to be adding this one right there. Yes, perfect. I love it. Now, I might need to move it a little bit smaller because it looks like kind of too big. Let me just do this one again. And again, the, if you just joined, I colored this ribbon with the stamping blend. So that way I can get the color exactly matching my paper much better. Yeah, that way it's kind of smaller as I pull. Yep, and we're gonna go ahead and cut this one. There we go, much better. Okay, now we're gonna ring a glue that and add it like right here. And there we have it. I might just cut a little bit here. I don't like it when they go out of the car of the car because sometimes when you're putting in your envelope, it kind of gets in the way. So, okay. Now, just to finish off and make it still look like a set. Like I said, I love doing that nowadays. <laughs> I'm gonna be adding just like a few of these little um, gems. We're gonna be adding one here and one of the medium somewhere here and then one of the little ones I'm gonna put it like right here there we go so it kind of looks nice it goes with the same vibe if you will as this one see that card number one and card number two definitely love this one better right now I don't know let's just see number three <laughs> okay so now card number three and for this one I've done the pumpkin. So the pumpkin's already done. That way we don't have to be doing that. Um, and again, if you just joined, you just have to look or watch the replay. And just to see how that one is done, I've done it already twice. So I think it's good. Now for this one, here's the one that I'm using. And this is the one that goes like a little rectangle on the on the um gold the forever gold and i just cut it because i just want to show a little bit of that so then i can use the rest kind of like what i'm doing with this one right like i'm going to be saving this part and i'm going to be using it in a different project um so yeah so kind of i did already that with another car so i have this one left over so definitely want to make sure i use this guy all right so for this one i have um what is my Uh, Rich Russell Berry and it's eight and a half by five and a half and we're gonna be folding it in half Thank you, Janet. I'm glad you're liking them. 
Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Susan. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take all of these out of the way. All right, and then I have the um, Early Espresso, and I believe this one is four, let me see. No, it's actually um, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you're liking them. <laughs> and so this one it has been already pre-embossed, as you can see, using the same, the tasteful textile 3D folder. I'm telling you, that one is a great one to have. It goes with everything and anything. So now this one is crushed curry, and I have here four and one eighth by two and three quarters, okay? And then remember that piece from that other card? So I'm gonna be using it here. So now this one is exactly that one and it's four by two and um, a half. But again, this is out of the, the you're not really cutting, you are die cutting this one, but if you don't have that die cut, you just cut it at that size, right? And I just have the one eighth uh, base. Now here is where I wanna use this one like so. Or at least that's what I was thinking in my head when I was thinking about this card. I want to put this one like right here. So I'm covering that section, but I want this one to be inside. Like I said, I love when it is inside of the card. Then have this one here. Then have a label. And this one is out of the Tasteful Labels dies. Yeah. So Tasteful Label dies. And, and guys, I love having label dies. I think that that's one of the things that uh, if you can buy the label dies, it doesn't matter which ones, you'll get so many cars ideas. I'm telling you, it's just, yeah. So if you, if you have, uh, if you want to invest on something, the labels, any labels, cause they all help you and see how this one is looking, right? And then um, I want to put the same sentiment, but you can see this one has to go towards that end, right? So I want to put it towards that end. And then I want to add like little banners, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Like I could have the two little banners here. And I don't know if I like them. If I don't like them, then I'll take them away. Because the other thing is I want to be putting maybe another bow. We'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. So let's just do the banners. And of course, we're going to be using the Taylor Tech Punch because I haven't used them at all in this... Um, in this car series, right? And you'll know me that I love this one the most. So we cannot go a whole video without the Taylor Tack Punch. Oh my goodness, and I made them so small. Because <laughs> again, these were just a scrap. So whenever that happens, just put a post stick and that will help you to get enough. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and this is why I love saving all my scraps, especially for like the glimmer paper and the um, foil paper, because you always just need, you always need um, just like a little piece. You don't need a, a lot of it and you get so much out of it, really. So let's just see, do I like it with those? I think I do. I think I do. Cause it kind of balance out the gold on this section. I think I'm gonna leave it that way. And then let's just think about the bow before I color more of my ribbon before I even do the stamping. And again, this is exactly how I start designing my cards. Um, I made one of these pumpkins, as you can see here, and I start making all my layouts. If I like them, then I put them there. Yeah, I think it will look really nice. Ooh, 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 yeah. So definitely yes for a bow. So let's just do another of these. So anyway, so let's do the stamping first. But, um, so yeah, like I said, that's how I like coming up with my car ideas. I make the one and then I start putting things together. And if I like it, then I make it the whole video, right? Uh, that's why I never have the, um, the cards made because I have that kind of layout in my head and then I see it. If I like it, then I go forward. If I don't, then I start changing it. And it's just, it just makes it very easy to change the layout. All right, so let's just think. So we know we want it towards this, this end. All righty. And hopefully it works out well. If not, anyway. And if you don't want to be using the design series paper, the wriggles, you can also use the cardstock. I'm sure it will look 
equally amazing. <laughs> you know? I just wanted to use um, the color that went with that one, but I could I could have used the um, cardstock. And in fact, I could have used, like if I wanted to be saving even more paper, I could have used die cutter from here since it's gonna be cover, right? So there's always ways where you can um, save the paper. All right, or maximize, I should say, maximize your paper. Um, all right, so now, Oh gosh, let me just start putting everything together here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and let me put this one here. Alrighty. Thank you, Margaret. I really appreciate you sharing it. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna be gluing this down. And again, that, the plate tidying, I think that um, it has so many color combinations. It's just a great one to have. And I think it goes really well for so many, so many occasions, right? Like Christmas will be great, fall and Halloween and Valentine's, so definitely. Oh my God, Teresa, you know I always ask. <laughs> You're so sweet. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna be adding the adhesive on that section rather than doing the glue dots. So from that end, it seems to be really convenient. And again, I'm gonna just put in, always just look to make sure that it fits. And again, let me just make sure that I can cover this. Yeah. I feel like I might need to cut a little bit here. So I'm just gonna cut that section just to make sure I don't have anything showing up. Yeah. Again, I'm just trying to make sure this one goes that way and then it covers everything. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh, almost. I almost freak out because <laughs> I heard voices right on my yard. Yeah, my neighbor is having like a party or something. I was like, who's here? <laughs> Woof. All right, so here we go. We're going to put it right there. Now, this one, I'm going to be using dimensionals. You see that we get... Um... And yes, I know I'm going to be putting a lot of them. That bounce well. Alrighty. Okay. And then we're gonna be adding it like right here. And then we're gonna be adding this one right here. And this one's again are gonna go right here yes and then everything is coming together actually I think that for this one I might need to go this way well no I can go this way if I move a little bit and then have the bow here I think that's how I'm gonna go let's just color this before I glue down everything because you know how that goes right like once um, I start seeing it, then I realize how I like it. Where's the paper here? We're going to be adding more color. And again, I'm just using the Rich Raspberry Dark. And I'm just going to be coloring. Again, I'm trying to just use the side of the marker. That way, I don't damage the point of my uh, blend. I'm gonna need a little bit more. All right. And then we're gonna be making 
a little bow. Yes, definitely. So this is a clear yes for me. There we go. Yes, okay, so now let's just glue everything because I did like it, so I'm good to go. Um, I'm gonna be adding this one. I just need a little bit. And you know what, I should probably use, that's fine. I'm gonna put it right now here. There we go. Then um, I'm gonna leave this one flat. So I'll erase the other one. So I'm gonna move this one towards this section. Alrighty. And then we're gonna be adding this one right here. Yep. And this one, ah, uh, do I want it raised? I probably want it, no, I probably wanna leave it flat. I'll probably just add like a dimensional on this section. Right? And then add this one right here. Yes, like that. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, so let's just add a dimensional on that, on this end. And then we're gonna be adding Uh -oh. There we go. And then we're gonna be adding that bow right here with a glue dot. I wanna hide this one a little bit. There you go. I wanna hide it. And I'm going to be adding the gems where, yeah, I'm like, where did I leave this? There we go. I don't want it to be hiding it. That's fine. I'm just going to be adding like one here, one of the big ones right there. Oh. And then one here, I feel like it would be nice to have something on that end. And then maybe another one like right here. Mm, there we have it. Yeah, I'm gonna live with this and I'm good. Love this jams a lot. There you have it. All right, so. Let's just bring all the cards. That's it. I love them all. Definitely love having the ribbon in this color. Definitely. And I don't know. I don't know which one will be my favorite. I, I agree with, with um, Teresa. I like them all. Although I think that this layout, um, I love this one a lot. So I'm going to go with that one. Although I love them all. So anyway, so let me know which one is your favorite. I always like to know which one is the one that caught your eye the most. For me, it's this one. Number two. Okay, Eva is number three. Yeah, that looks also nice as well. I don't know. But um, like I said, just color your, your ribbon in any with any of the blends just to make it match the color of your paper. So, again, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot about this one. So, the next card class, or the stamp stack number four, is being released tomorrow. So, make sure you're on my mailing list to get all the information about signing up for the fourth stamp stack. And it is already on my uh, PDF store. So, you can see it here. It's using the warm hugs. 
and I just love them all. These are very easy. It features the um, warm hook suite, and so definitely a great one to have. And again, you can get the information about the tutorial on my on my uh, blog at www. Uh, www.creatingwithali.com forward slash shop or you can go to the blog and just look at where it says tutorials shop that way uh, or tutorial store tutorial store that way you can get all the information of all the past uh, stampa stacks that I have had and again this one is where we make 12 cars so three of each and it's going to be released tomorrow so if you want to get information about the links how to register make sure you are on my mailing list which is also on the description of this video so that uh you get all the information so anyway so i just want to make sure you knew about it because i totally forgot talking about it at the beginning of this video so anyway so thank you so much oh i like that you're liking them thank you thank you Alrighty, so I'll see you next week, same time, 7 p.m. on my Facebook page. So thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.